Hello everyone. Um, as you can see by the title, we are going to talk about shops today. So um, let's jump right into it. I am at the um, furniture dealer, I'm not sure what you call him, uh, here in uh, Palmia. And so he's selling a deed of shop for 200,000 GP and I already have one so I'm not going to buy another. Um, Oh, she, excuse me. Yeah, so this shop here, you can buy that and also other furnitures. Um, if that shop doesn't have it, usually the first place to look will be the tax um, tax office. And up in the top left, uh, they sell deeds. And hopefully you can find one there. If not, wait a week or so and check again. Um, so uh, first things first. Uh, what is the shop? It's a place for you to dump all your items. Okay, so when you go to sell your things at a, uh, a vendor, you get 0.5% of what they will sell it for. Of, I mean, of what it's worth. There's an a absolute worth value on for every item, and you'll get 0.5%. So when you sell it in your shop, you get, a, as a base, you get 5%, which is uh, 10 times as much. So that is reason enough. And also, you get not only do you get money, you get items, um, rare items even, you know, as your shop ranks up. So it's a bit of a no-brainer to create a shop. All right, first thing we can talk about is, I need to eat. Um, where, right, location. Um, it doesn't matter as far as customers go. You know, you don't need to be next to a city or a road or anything like that. You can place it anywhere on the map, just like any other deed. You can't place them on top of random buildings or cities and, of course, places you can't walk. So I like to place mine, as I said in my previous farm video, I like to place mine right here between Vernus and um, Palmia because I'm always hitting these two towns, plus down here, uh, Yaoyan, I'm always hit these three towns, like pretty much nonstop, and occasionally head all the way east to, um, was it Lumiest, and west to Port Kapul, right? So um, this is right in the middle of everything. Um, so we need somewhere somewhat convenient to drop off things. So I'm gonna push R to read, and read my deed, and yes, I will. So here we are, this is my shop. Um, so let's enter. So now you have to buy a shopkeeper. That's not my shopkeeper, right? So you have to buy a shopkeeper. Um, uh, not buy, excuse me. You need to get a shopkeeper. So um, when you get a shopkeeper, they have two skills that are important. And that is negotiation and charisma. What do you call this here? It's a register, like cash register. So I'm going to push uh, numpad enter to use and numpad enter again. Um, I need to assign a shopkeeper, right? So uh, like I said, we need someone with high charisma and a negotiation. Oh, here, they list it directly. Um, charisma neg negotiation. I only have one um, um, ally right now, but just the little girl that I spawned in with. So of course you could do gene engineering, gene editing, and you can get their things up higher, stuff like that. And they will level up as they work in the shop. Uh, she's not that good though. So uh, an idea to get an early, um, there's a list on the wiki for both Alona and Alona Plus, and a list of you know 15 or 20 different um, uh, pets or slaves really, because you're buying them from the slave dealer. But an, a good one to start out with is probably. Um, if you're below level 60, if you're level 60, you can get a Master Thief, which are great. But just starting off, uh, probably a, a, um, a Rock Thrower is pretty good, or a Rogue, a Jura Swordsman, or a Rogue Warrior. Again, as I said, there's a list and so uh, on the Lona uh, Wiki, so have a look there. And uh, so let's go look at the Slave Trader and see what we can get. And we have arrived in Durfee. So Durfee is this thieves town that's in the southwest. We came from uh, Vernus up here, excuse me, this road that leads to my shop and stuff. And Vernus is there, Port Kapul is there. So this is uh, Durfee. Now in Durfee, there's a slave trader. This is the only one in the game. So let's have to come here. Uh, that's not the right one, it's the other one. Not you either, where are you? Must be this guy. Okay, yeah, so there's two, there's a person selling stuff here and the slave trader was this guy. 
So I want to buy a slave. Let's see what we can get. A warrior of Elia. Say never mind. Uh, Minwar the magic archer. I wish you could see their skills. Missionary of darkness. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go with uh, just anybody really, just for this, uh, for the sake of this video. Bomb Thor. Okay, let's get a bomb Thor. And oh, he's expensive. Hopefully, he has good skills. Uh, let's be this green guy. I'm gonna push I to interact with him and then towards him and I want to see his info. There we are. Um, he, let's see his charisma is 58 which is fantastic and negotiation. I hope he has negotiation skill. Alright we have arrived back in the shop and uh, let me just say that a bomb thrower is not a good person to have as a pet. Had a few encounters and he those bombs if you can believe it and they, uh, they blow up in a 3x3. Three three. Pretty dangerous. Alright, so let's go to this register again. Assign a shopkeeper. And we're going to assign the bomb thrower with his charisma and negotiation. Um, obviously, if this was a real playthrough, I would uh, get someone with negotiation or use gene engineering and um, go, go about it that way. But he'll be fine. <clears throat> Alright, so now we have a shop. Uh, and he will just hang out, usually near the register. And uh, I can drop... For the uh, first tier of this shop, I can drop 10 items, only 10, and I can spread them out. Um, I'm going to drop them, I'm going to space them out just for the, so we can see. There's one, two, three, uh, four. You can drop anything that you can sell. Okay, um, let's get some heavy stuff I can drop here. Yeah, let's drop all of these, and oh, I can't drop anymore. If I'm trying to, it says you can't drop items anymore. So that must be 10. That's not even 10, is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Maybe this counts. Oh yeah, there's a few other things hanging around that came with the shop. Let's get rid of that. And I think this counts as well, the safe and maybe the register. But they have to have those, so um, we'll keep them. So I can drop two more things with something heavy. Uh, we only have this energy cell. It's not identified, so I don't want to drop it. Okay, we can drop one and two, and I think that's all I can drop. Right. Okay, I have 10 items. So the way it works is um, based on my shopkeeper and um, and the rank of my shop, people will come randomly and um, and potentially buy something. There's a, a you know percent chance that they'll buy it, and there's also an amount of money that they have on them. Um, well, since we're here, uh, 10 items isn't really enough, <laughs> right, to make any profit. Um, so I bought the uh this deed is 200,000 right 200,000 gp and um the there's a maintenance cost of 5,000 gp per month right uh, if it's blessed that goes down to 4,250 so but that's not much of a difference so don't worry about it and uh and so you get also you get an income like a passive income of 10 gp every 15 days per rank okay also obviously the income you get from sales so if I rank up, you know, to rank 50 or something, then I'll be getting 500, or 1,000 a month just on income. And, you know, so you can actually cover the, um, the, the working costs of it with, as you rank up. Um, so you can uh, go to the register and extend it for 2,000 GP. And, uh, and you can extend it many, many times up until you have 400 slots. You gain 10 slots every time you extend. So I'm just going to extend a few times here. Um, it's totally worth it, guys. It will pay for itself. Trust me. And I'm going to drop anything that's worth dropping. Got a lot of... Uh... Oh, and by the way, yeah, you can place more than one. I can just place all these items into one stack if I want to. But um, it just looks nice, right? Just set them all up. You can see your things, right? Uh, I usually just like <laughs> make a pile on the ground of everything. Let's see. I'm going to actually do that now. I'm just going to start piling things down. And it's not a bad idea to put one nearby a uh, like a puppy cave because you can run in the puppy cave and in 10 minutes have, a, you know, 60, 70 items if you just pick everything up. Okay, so now people will come. Um, as more people come and uh, buy and sell, then the shop will rank up, meaning, you know, even more people will come. It's kind of a compounding effect. So we just keep it going. Um, there is a uh, the sell value of items. There's a formula on the wiki you can take a look at. I'm not going to read it because there's a lot of variables and um, it just it'll be too confusing to read it. Uh, 
But the what's worth noting, uh, noticing is um, negotiation is uh, having a square root taken of it, and it's in the top of a fraction, which means it is going to kind of balance out. You know, uh, like you're not going to get more bang for your buck with negotiation. It kind of, uh, you know, gets less and less and less, less gain every time. Um, so in Alona Plus, we have shot types. Uh, in the base game Alona, we don't. You just have what I have here, like a general uh, shop. And I, and here I can change the... Oh, uh, yeah, let's just go down the list here. So change shop type. Um, we have a, a few options here. Um, so we have goods, which is the normal... You can sell anything. There's no bonus, no uh, no problem. You can sell any item you want that's sellable to regular vendors. Um, this is all. This is the option that base game Alona uses. Like you only have good shop. So uh, base game Alona, you can ignore the rest of these and um, just keep it a good shop. Uh, you can also make a food shop. So now we have categories. Um, in the categories, you can only sell this specific type of item, but you get a twenty percent boost to the uh, to the selling price. So uh, after you get enough money to make a few shops, you should definitely do that. Um, so food, obviously consumables, right? Uh, magic shop is, let me double check this, but I, I believe it is the, uh, okay. So, um, oh, also worth mentioning for the food shop, uh, rotten food sells at full price. So go ahead and dump your rotten stuff. That's why mine is next to the farm. I can just get a, a you know, 40 or 50 of them in just a couple seconds and cook them up, get, grind my skills. Uh, for the magic shop, rolls, spell books, and rods. And um, by the way, all of these will have a 20% modifier except the good shop. Okay, so for the magic shop, you can only sell those three items and um, you get 20% boost. Uh, the blacksmith is equipment, including your uh, equipable gear and uh, you know, swords, um, armor, rings, all that stuff, capes, and uh, of course, 20% boost. And then you also have the inn shop. So the inn shop, for whatever reason, it's uh, they sell containers and potions, okay? So again, it's 1.2%. And, um, oh, and if you change shop types, you have to wait 15 days between if, before changing it again. You can't just one day make it food, the next day, you know, a blacksmith. So, uh, yeah. There's also a decorative art shop. I'm assuming this is um, things to go in your house. It's not on the wiki. So that the only other item you can sell that's not on this list is, you know, that. So, like, furniture, things like that. So I'm, I'm assuming that's what that is. And then the junk shop is just junk, right? So um, we're going to keep it a good shop just for this video. So let's cancel. Um, so we can also give the shopkeeper feats. Uh, so, okay, whenever uh, the shopkeeper gets 120 sales experience, I think that they sell 120 things, um, and a second one can be chosen at 360 experience. So the feats are elegance, which increases um, charisma and the money that people carry. Uh, there's another one called aesthetic sense. So then when trading items, items are worth 33% plus 300 GP more. Uh, there's a handful of them here, right? Uh, well, there's only three more. Let me just read them. You have proprietary sales. Wait, um, I'm not going to read all of these because there's like six bullet points under this one. I'm not going to read them all. Then there's one called tie up, which <laughs> forces people to stay longer, right? And then there's business smile. So you'll eventually be able to pick two of these feats, uh, which will bump up your shopkeeper, you know, a rank system. Similar to your house, uh, um, you can rank up. So the way that shop ranks work is, uh, you know, you start at 100, uh, which is an unknown shop that's what you know when you buy the shop that's what you get and you get all the way up to uh shop to one rank which is uh tyrus's greatest mall okay and one more thing worth mentioning in uh alona plus only is these things called yakatet points um if you were, if you noticed i picked up that card when i walked in because there was not enough items uh, on the floor there so uh, i picked up a card and it is the yakatek yaka point card um and the way that, that these things work, if we, you can use it, and uh, you have all of these. So you, after you get a lot of points, right, it'll take a long time, uh, uh, you can start unlocking these. So, uh, yeah, the titles are pretty self-explanatory. Actually, they're not. What are handshake rights of Karavika, right? But, uh, again, th these aren't posted on the wiki yet because this is a new uh, mechanic. This, this mechanic came out in version 1.95, so it's a new mechanic, but it's something. Also, when you sell things in both Alona and Alona Plus, when your shopkeeper sells things, 
they go into this uh, this chest here. You can design it, right? That's when I was talking about you can like remove walls. So I'm gonna try to find this uh, floor piece here. This is all just visual. Uh, you can make, uh, let's see, just make it look fancy. I don't know, what is this? I can make, change the floors, right? Uh, but those floors have glowing effects, so maybe it's better to keep those. Uh, something else that has, oh, that's a wall. <laughs> but you can remove walls, right? These are just tiles, right? So I can remove a wall here if I wanted to make it bigger, more open, right? So as you expand your shop, right, you can make it much bigger. Uh, and it's just visual, right? So you could, again, you could just pile them all right here on the floor when you walk, walk in the door. There's no reason to spread them out. Uh, oh, no, that's map icon. So you have to actually find uh, the list of them. I'm gonna type in, say, uh, three and see what that is. I have no idea. It might be like a cave or a dungeon, probably will be a dungeon. Okay, <laughs> it's that. Uh, so um, you can look online to find the sprite sheet and uh, get a different, you know, some maybe something like a palace if you want it to look super fancy. Uh, I'm going to undo that by pushing zero. Where is my zero? There it is. Okay, so I put back the original graphic. Um, what is the last one? Change the map name. Ah, uh, you can just name it. So whenever you have, uh, now it's called shop. Uh, later you might have food shop, armor shop, something like that. Alright, so you can see here, a day passes and a new day begins. Uh, not sure combat, well, not sure what that means. Um, so five customers visited my shop and bomb thrower sold two items. Bomb thrower put 52 gold pieces in the shop uh, strong box. You got zero yaka points. Ranking change shop 100 to 98 and I'm still unknown shop. Um, you, uh, you can also get items, right? All right, we're all back. Um, it's been a few days. I dropped a few more things off, and uh, let's see how we are doing. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to come in and check my chest. Okay, so you can see I got 2,700 gold pieces and I, a rod of toilet... They, uh, some random items, right? And usually, obviously, take the items if they're good, um, or just ditch them, right? I'm just going to drop them. Sell them again, right? Just immediately drop them back off. And that's the, basically it for the shop. Um, if I had a better shopkeeper, which you should do, right? Try to find someone with charisma and negotiation and then uh, train, you know, let them train it up. Um, then obviously I would sell faster and better. Uh, and as my shop ranks up, eventually you'll be pulling in many, many thousands every day and uh, you'll have that uh, chest just chock full of items, uh, gear and stuff. And you'll just every day, you don't, you, it gets to the point where you almost don't have to grind for gear anymore uh, to fill the shop. <clears throat> just occasionally go hit the puppy cave, uh, top your shop off, and then uh, just take gear straight out of the safe and put it back in the shop and just keep that rotation going. So this is a shop. Uh, for Elona Plus, I suggest having multiple shops, like one for each category. You can probably ignore junk and just sell that in the general, um, uh, what do they call it, the general store, general goods. Right, uh, chain shop type. Yeah, the good shop. So you can just sell. You can sell anything in the good shop at 100% price. The other ones you sell. You get, remember, you get a 20% boost, and but you can't sell any other items. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.